Hello friends, welcome back to Prohut IT Services. Good to see you back. Today in this video, we learn the steps to install IIES, that is Internet Information Services on Azure Virtual Machine. So to perform the same, we'll go to the virtual machines and we have already created a virtual machine. If you are not sure how to create a virtual machine in Azure, then you can watch my video. I'll paste the link in the description. So out here, when we click on the virtual machine, I'll simply hide this one. So here we have the public IP address. Just take the public IP address, go to run, type MSDSC, type the IP address of the virtual machine, click on connect, type in the password, Click on yes. And now we are logged into the virtual machine. So the very first step that we need to do is that I'll go to the local server. I'll disable the I enhanced security configuration. I'll click on off, click on okay. And just to show you that we don't have internet information services installed on this server. We'll click on next, go to the role-based or feature-based installation, click on next, click on next again. Out here, we don't have the web server installed on this server. So the first option is that we can select the option from here, click on add features, click on next. It will automatically select all the required options. Click on next again, click on next. So here we can see that all the required features are automatically selected. So if in case you want the IS6 management compatibility or IS6 management scripting tools or the management services to be installed, or besides that, if in case you want any other security features or any other option to be selected, you can select that as per your requirement and then click on next. Once you click on install, it will install the IIS on this server. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the PowerShell command to install the IIS on this server. And besides that, we will also be creating an index.html file on the server. So I'll cancel it from here. And let me minimize the server. Go back to my laptop. And this is the command which I have, I'll just copy this one. Go back to the server on which we are right now. I'll paste these commands on the server. These are the two commands that we can use to install the internet information services. That is the web server. And the second command is to create the index.html file and this it will create a welcome message and it will take the computer name automatically so let's copy the first command go to the powershell so let me paste the first command hit enter and wait for installation to be completed in the meantime, we'll open the Edge browser. Okay, so we'll open the incognito window and we'll check for the local host. Okay, so as of now, we don't see anything when we type localhost. So once the IIS or the web server role is installed on this server, then we will see a default welcome message. Okay, so here we can see a welcome message. The default IIS message. 
So when we refresh, this is what we can see. Now what we can do is that we'll copy the second command that we have. Okay, so now let's copy the second command. Go to the PowerShell and we'll run this. Once it is done, we'll go back to the browser and refresh the page. So this is what we can see. So it says, welcome to VM01. VM01 is the name of our virtual machine. So let's confirm that. When we go to the PowerShell and type host name, hit enter. So out here we can see that it is the name of the virtual machine. On the server, as we can see that by using localhost, we can access the web page. Now let's copy the IP address and check the same from our laptop and see whether it's working or not. So it will not work. There's a reason for that. As we know that web server runs on port 80, but we have not opened the port 80 on the network security group. So what we need to do is go to the networking, in the networking, we can see the NSG rules defined. So as per the rule, we can see that we only have port number 3389 open for this virtual machine, which means port 80 will not be accessible because out here we can see a rule which says deny all inbound. So which means all the inbound ports are denied by default. So let's hide this one. Now let's add a rule where we'll say that source would be any and the source port would be any and destination would be any, but out here, the port which you want to open is port number 80. So we'll say that we want to allow port, define the priority. And here we can see allow all custom inbound 80. So click on add. Let's wait. Okay, so we can see that the role is added out here. It shows that the role is added, but still we don't see that. So let's refresh our page and see if we can see the role that we have added or not. Yeah, so here we can see that the role with priority 310 is added, which says that the port number 80 to be allowed. So let's try to access the web page once again and see whether it works or not. So now we can see that we can access web page after we have opened the port number 80 on the server. I hope it's clear and I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you like it. Thanks for watching.